Corin, and I'm really excited about this one because when it comes to boilers kitchens, because as a builder myself, is that I have a little bit of knowledge and understanding of that kind of product line. But when it comes to carpet, I really don't understand what a good piece of quality carpet is. And Natalie, stop laughing at me. Yet, yeah. is that and you shut up, Wayne? And what a cheap bit of carpet. Now, I know what cheap bit of carpet is, and I understand that, but you've got the short pile twisted and you've got a rope carpet. And I actually learned from you, Wayne, this week is that there's a carpet that you should buy if you've got a cat or a dog. And you on mute, Wayne. Yeah, sorry, I've muted people at the minute because I was getting a little bit of reverb. So okay. uh, only, only you're unmuted right now. Okay. And I was really like, I did not know that. So one of the things is that I want to talk about when I, fit, when I first met Lisa, that me and Anthony went down, or oh, it must have been 18 months ago. And my expectation of where we are, Wayne and Natalie, and what I thought where we would be, they are so far apart. We came down to your factory, we met Lisa, and me and um, Anthony sat there, we were like two school kids, honestly. We were in awe. The way she explained carpets and LTV, she put this LTV on the table, she said to me, which is a quality one and which is the cheap one or the name brand, I can't say the name brand one. And me and Anthony looked and went, that one, because it looked the most expensive. No, she went, that one. And I went, okay, but why? And I didn't understand why. And we then had a tour around the factory and there were thousands of carpets, absolute thousands. And I really wouldn't understand why put that carpet in that place or that carpet in that place? Because I think a lot of people go for feel and touch and colour. Because when you're in a, in a, and also price, because I've seen people look around carpet shops when you're in them kind of shops and people go, oh, that feels nice, or, or I don't like the feel like that. But suddenly that's £31 a square metre. And the one they like is like £10 a square metre. And I can't really understand it. So coming back to my point was that we're in awe and we thought members would love it. But what me and Anthony completely didn't realize is that we'd seen it. We saw the way that carpet was delivered or rolled out and cut and taken out to your tradesmen. And I thought this would be easily, with my eyes closed, would be like, half a million to a million pound account because the amount of houses that we've got and it's never taken off and it really hasn't taken off and it hasn't worked now i've seen a spike since natalie's come on and you've come on i've seen it it move up now i want to take it on to the next stage and i think it's an education that our landlords need and i certainly need because i like i said before i wouldn't understand carpet i don't understand carpet i don't understand ltv lvt sorry I'll get that right one day, Wayne. Yeah, can you take them off mute as well, Anthony, please? You'll have to unmute yourself um, at the minute. Uh, but I think it's worth mentioning as well, Nick, that um, we had so many problems in the past with, with regards to carpet and our previous carpet supplier that really it was never something that we wanted to promote. So yes, we, you know, we're in a position where we want to be doing more. We want members to be you know more excited about this sort of product but you know it's, it's great to even be here because we can now we've got a supplier that we can trust to tr drive more traffic towards and um, help and, and, yeah, and help yeah because, absolutely yeah, yeah. And, and i want to take that th this business because i think that we've naturally guiding and helping and, and making recommendations on what carpets and what they should be putting in it, how much traffic are going up the stairs? Is it like an HMO? Yeah, is it a hard wearing place? Or yes, put the LVT there. We, LMPG doesn't have that knowledge. I can recommend bricks, I can recommend the timber, I can recommend paint, I can, because I have an understanding, because I've used it, felt it, and I've been doing refurbs now for, since I was like 19. Carpet, I just walked away from. So, Wayne, this is over to you and Natalie. 
Okay, so um, so thanks for that, Nick. Yeah, absolutely spot on. I mean, selecting the right carpet or the right floor covering can be a little overwhelming. Um, I mean, we as a business carry um, supply over forty thousand products alone, uh, ranging from carpet, carpet tiles, entrance matting, cushion vinyl, LVT, artificial grass, wood, laminate. You name it, we'll supply it in that in that floor covering market. But if I can, um, you're absolutely right in terms of um, it hasn't taken off as we would have hoped, but we are a relatively new partner of yours. Yes. Um, and uh, we, when I've just recently come on board, I wanted to get a, an understanding of what your, what your members wanted from, from us. And I'm going to use this as an opportunity really, first of all, to explain who we are, what we do to your members and what service we can provide and then hopefully take a bit of learning through the questions um, where we can hopefully enhance our service to your members going forwards. Okay, great. So, yeah, so if I make, can I just give a little background to carpet and flooring? Yes, please do. Um, so carpet and flooring are the, U, uh, the largest UK independent distributor of, of flooring, okay? Um, that covers um, 40,000 products. We've got, um, tens of millions of pounds worth of stock um, which is available to be delivered or collected through our 10 out outlets or delivered across the UK on a two to three day lead time. Okay can I ask a question there? Yeah sure. You know I'm going to come in when you talk, sorry. Deliveries, so that we don't forget to ask this question. Deliveries, they can pick it up at, at, from the 10 outlets and now you've put something in place to get carpet delivered to people's homes? Am I correct in saying that? We, 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 we will deliver um, um, to residential properties, um, but obviously um, we would ask people to advise us on restrictions because um, the deliveries are on um, curtain side vehicles. So they're quite big deliveries, um, big vehicles. So we'd, we'd ask your members to advise, advise of any restrictions in terms of access ways, but we will drop side the um, um, curbside, the, the delivery drops uh, to residential properties, yes. Can I ask you a question? If we get the deliveries to the, any of the 10, is there any way that we can, maybe you and I can talk about doing local deliveries with a smaller van? Potentially, yes. Potentially, um, like I said, you know, what we're looking at is, um, is utilizing the existing fleet that we have yeah. because it's our fleet um, and, and planning that in. If we're looking at bringing in smaller vehicles, then it's maybe a courier cost um, to get that in if you want a quicker delivery or a smaller vehicle. Yeah, I'm just asking the question. Okay, sorry, sorry, carry on. That's okay, that's okay. So we're predominantly a trade business. We're not a retail outlet. So we're not a carpet right or an SCS. Um, we are a trade business um, that serves predominantly the commercial market. So um, we serve all the NHS projects, uh, MODs, prisons, hospitals, um, schools, education. We work in the retail sector as well, uh, supplying carpet shops. Um, as well as the residential sector as well. So refurbishment projects yourselves, new builds, etc. cetera. Um, and as I said, we're a relatively new partner of yours. And, and what I want to do is try and gather an understanding really of how we improve the existing service we've got and take the existing business to the next level. Okay. Um, so over, over the last couple of weeks, we've put some measures in place um, whereby um, we're going to try and make life a bit easy for your members to try and select the carpets or the, the, the vinyl coverings by providing this bespoke brochure for your members which will contain a selection of the 40,000 products we have which are we, we deem as the best sellers so narrow that choice down to a, a range of around 22 different carpet types um, and cover the range of um, uh, cushion vinyl LVT laminate artificial grass as well as all the accessories. Um, and our mantra is really, um, we're offering trade, your members trade prices, um, competitive trade prices on a net price basis. 
We're not a business that's high list prices with big discounts. We want to be open and transparent with our pricing to your members. And with that, may come a bit of criticism because we're quite easily being benchmarked then against online players. Um, and we've had an instance, a um, couple of instances recently with some of you members where we were asked um, um, if we could price match an online retailer um, whereby the price was slightly cheaper than ours and it was just slightly pen pennies cheaper. Um, but I would ask you members to consider it's not just the, the floor covering itself, the carpet or the laminate to consider, it's everything else beneath it. So what you tend to find is that there's hidden costs with some of these other players. So the underlay may be twice the price of ours or the delivery may be three times the cost. So but in that case, it was the underlay that was double the price for the same underlay. Yes. So the price of it, so say it how it is, please. But, but the overall cost, when you added everything he needed, it was a lot more expensive. Yeah, Absolutely. I can take your carpet on my website, I can double the price and tell people they're getting a 60% discount. Any idiot can do that. I want to make sure that we're getting good value, our members are getting good value for money. That the net price, when you involve the delivery, the carpet, the underlay, the rods, the what they put, what you clip the carpet to, what do they call that? Um, gripper. 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 Yeah, the bottom line price is yep. that we're going to be there. And if you look on your LMPG website as it stands today, yep. our prices are on there. They're all open to be shot at. So, yep. so we hang our hat off our pricing strategy in terms of it being net price. Um, and we believe there to be very competitive trade prices to your members. And the other thing is that one of the things about putting this courier system in place, we need the carpet in the house because we have a lot of female um, members, yeah, lots. And if they're at the house on their own, I'm not being funny. I could struggle with two guys. If she's on her own or he's on her own, how are they going to take the carpet in? So we need to make sure that carpet's not curb delivery because that's a, an absolute nightmare. We need to make sure the carpet goes in the house. Now, I know with COVID it was difficult and I totally understand that. But going forward, that's the, it's the end service. It's ordering, delivery, in the house, done, shut the door. Yeah. As I say, we're, we're here to learn from, from your requirements as well and, and then see what we can do to improve that service moving forwards. I'm sorry I keep interrupting you. You carry on. No, that's fine. That's fine. Um, um, so the, just to take you through the order process. So if, if you're looking to choose um, your carpet of choice for, for, you, for your, um, your property, we have the brochure, the bespoke brochure, which we are currently revamping and, and adding new ranging as, as we speak. That will be ready in the next couple of weeks to, um, to put onto your website as well. There's, the current version one is already on. Version two will be ready in two weeks with a new improved range for, you, for your members to select from. Um, we'd ask you to use the um, lmpg at carpetandflooring.co email address for your inquiries in the first instance, because if we've got a list of your inquiries um, to choose your carpet, choose your colour, at least we've got a record of it. Uh, there is can a, I ask a question. Can I ask a question? Sorry, I'm going to keep interrupting you because otherwise I'm going to forget. Once somebody goes in it, goes in with an email to you okay or is it also a phone call it's either or we prefer in the first instance for it to be email because at least we have a record of it um, okay how long should they take to get a response because what does wind people up is they don't hear anything four or five days how long okay. so, same day absolutely same day same day response from us when we Natalie's on board now and we've just invested in um, more people to serve your account. So Natalie is our um, national account manager looking after um, LMPG as well to service your members requirements. So um, what we, we have is a national sales team to serve LMPG members through an email address to give it a same day response. And we have a, tele a dedicated telephone number for your members as well. To, for general inquiries. 
if those inquiries can't be handled in the first instance, then that's when Natalie will get involved to help and assist your members with, with their requirements as well. Okay. Uh, can I just put that a little bit further? Because I, I had a, an inquiry the other day with regards to this webinar. Uh, is it possible to pick such items from the Cambridge Depot, for instance, without having to email for a quote and wait a few days to get a response? Now, in this instance, the depot's next door to the property. Well, pop into Cambridge, yeah. Yeah, so just pop into the local depot and, and get the carpet at an LMPG price without speaking to your head office first? Um, That's going to be hard. How did you know what our pricing structure is? They're already... Um, I'll just jump in on there, because the carpet's held at Redditch. Um, so the carpet's not stocked locally at each oh, branch. Okay. So we could, get, we could definitely get the carpet sent down from Redditch to Cambridge for them to collect, if that's what they want to do. That's not an issue. Um, but it's not held. But it's not going to save any time just going into the depot anyway. No. no um, and it's like with the sampling as well, each branch does have sampling. They don't have everything because you can imagine if, um, if all of those samples have actually been taken out of the branch, um, they then wouldn't have access. Um, if they popped in, they might not be available. So it's just literally, you know, we can send you the sampling. Um, and we're happy to do that free of charge rather than you having to take a journey to a branch that may not have everything. Okay, brilliant. Thank That's you. Great. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you. Yeah, just to, just to confirm that, I mean, Redditch is our central distribution hub that carries the majority of our stock. We do have stock in the other branches. It's just that the majority of the stock is held in Redditch which is generally, if we get an order, is, is um, inter-transferred by our own, our own vehicle fleet overnight the next day. So it could be collected on the next day opportunity. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, it's a good point, actually, and um, I'm just going to cut in again here. Um, Nick and myself went to the Redditch warehouse. I think that's where we went. And they have this big machine that cuts all the carpets and that sort of thing. Uh, I've got a couple of questions on, on cutting specifically, so uh, I'll just sort of reel through those. Uh, what cutting service is provided for the carpets and, and at what cost? The, the cutting service is free of charge. It's already built into the cost to your members. Okay. Um, and carpet generally is in, uh, it comes in standard four and five metre width rolls. Mm -hmm. Um, so the, the, the cut lengths will be specifically either on a four or five metre width roll uh, based on the length of your requirements um, to suit your room's um, measurements that you've got. What tolerance do you have for those cuts? The, the, the tolerances should be built in when you do the measure. So you're doing the measure and building a tolerance of say 10 centimetres um, over and above the uh, the uh, the, uh, the width and the length of the rooms itself, um, and you give those to, to us. So we, the, our, our tolerance on cutting is exact. We just work to your measurements that you give us. Okay, brilliant, thank you. Do you know, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> cutting, cutting. I thought it just come in a big freaking roll, you cut it in the house. Yeah. But, but we will we will specifically by room as well is 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 label and um, assign the different roles to each room as well if we, if they're cut to those specific areas. But generally, your carpet fitter will try and fit um, the landing stairs, living room, kitchen, or whatever you, you're going to be doing within the confines of one particular role to to optimize um, and minimize the wastage. Okay. But always seek, you know, kind of professional advice as well in terms of if, you, if you're not sure on measurements as well. Um, and Helen, um, just like to say, do you cover Wales? We do. Absolutely. Yeah, actually it's, I've had a few of those come through. So Southampton, Wales, Aberdeen, just to clarify, carpet and flooring, you're, you're national across. The national UK. Uh, including yeah. Northern Ireland. Um, 
Um, we struggle also, um, so we don't go down as far as um, like Devon and Cornwall. We don't go down yeah. there. And then we've got a branch in Glasgow, and then it's from Glasgow, then we can get it on a courier from there, but that may be an extra cost. Okay. Why didn't you go so down to Devon? Um, I think it's just because of the time it takes to get down there, I think, from our Bristol depot. Um, so yeah. it would then take up, that would make one van not be free to do any other deliveries because they would be going down potentially to do one drop. Um, yeah. So yeah. It, it, it can be scheduled in if, 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 if the order is big enough, I suppose, is yeah. what we're saying, yeah. Yeah, if it, doesn't, if it doesn't make financial sense to go down to down to Cornwall, yeah, then it doesn't go take financial. It's not financially viable. I understand. I think it's probably worthwhile having a, a map of your um, depots then uh, across across Britain. Uh, have on you got the my presentation? Website. Have you got my presentation? Anthony? I do. I do. Is it on there? Yeah. Oh, come on, Anthony, you're letting the side down here. It's like an angle, <laughs> you were the though, star but... last week. You stole the show. Yeah, I have to give it back today. All right, give me a second. <laughs> exposed a little bit. Man. Oh, I'll tell you what, just a bit of trivia. I'm really pleased with myself today. You know, I was 14 stone, two pound. I am now 13 and 11. I can't believe you're saying yeah. this. I'm... <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just getting a bit serious. So I thought I'd make a bit of a joke, but I'm really proud of myself. Yeah, so if we just look at the get away from next weight and then we'll move on to um, something more uh, more interesting a <laughs> map of the UK. Um, the, the dots on the map, so we go as far as, you know, we've got a depot in Glasgow, Gateshead, Manchester, Birmingham, um, Cambridge, Camberley, Bow, Kent, Bristol. So 10 depots and Redditch in the central, central hub as well. Um, so those are our locations across, across the UK, across that range. Um, as you see, there's a picture of Redditch where you went to visit there, Nick, Anthony, yeah. in terms of the stock holding, just, just a sample of one of the bays. Um, as I say, we, we, we do supply over 40,000 products and have millions of pounds worth of inventory at any given one time. So does all your, so if a member, and I was in Manchester, and they wanted carpet for Manchester, it goes into one of your 10 hubs, the closest one to the address, and then it's shipped out from there to the member. Am I correct in saying that? Yes. Yes, right, I've got it, okay. What sort of lead time is that? Generally, um, we, we work on roughly two to three days. Um, um, it can be quicker, depends on, on other availability of, of products going that way in that, in, at that time. But if we work on roughly two to three days, it's, it, you know, and you remember scheduling around that, that kind of lead time, then it should be generally okay. 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 One of the questions that keeps coming up, we're, it's about fitting. Can I leave fitting? Yes for a little bit later i will answer that question about you supplying fitting uh people fitting the carpets okay okay good anything else yes no loads. no that gives an overview in terms of um uh carpet and flooring as i say we are a um a, a trade outlet we're a distribution business um that does serve the trade predominantly um we're, we're not a retail business so we don't have kind of retail shops we do the um, trade outlets that we've got in that UK um, location map, they do have showrooms, so they do have samples that you can go and look at, but it's quite easy from the brochure that we've got that's on your LMPG website. It's an interactive um, um, brochure, so if you, you find a colour and a range you like, you click on the sample on the, the right-hand side, click on the sample, and it automatically sends an email um, to, to us with your requirements. Okay, can we talk about then quality of carpet? Yes, can we talk about um, high traffic areas? Can we talk about, because this is where I get lost and I think a lot of members do, um, Natalie, this will probably be directed at you about which carpets we should be putting. And am I correct, Anthony, if we've got some samples of carpet? 
in her slides. Uh, they're just, yeah, there's they're a, just there's colorways, a, I think, Nick. Yeah, a couple, different couple colorways. of colors, but it's, it's hard to really tell. Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, quality from, from an image. Uh, we've had very similar questions, um, so if I can just sort of shoot those in while we're, while we're on this subject. Um, there, there's areas like uh, the stairs and HMOs and, and high traffic areas, um, as well as in other cases where carpet has failed from other suppliers. Um, so members are just sort of wondering what the uh, aftercare service is and, and, and warranties and guarantees and that sort of thing as well. Okay, so um, regarding all of the carpets that are on the LNPG website, we've selected those because they'll all be suitable um, for HMOs. Um, there's a different classifications, but Wayne can tell you all about those. So basically you have um, domestic, um, then you have general domestic, and then you have heavy um, traffic. So for instance, um, if you looked on the LMPG brochure that's on there regarding the carpets, it shows you all of the products. It tells you on there what the wear warranty is, what the stain warranty is, and what the classification is. Um, so for instance, 22 would mean um, like that would be suitable, but if you went then up to 23, then that would then just give you um, a bit more of a, a better carpet with a longer lasting wear, because that would be for heavy domestic. Um, so if you were to just to pick, say, six out of those ranges, which you could look at. So if you wanted to look at something for your budget, you could look at, say, Dublin and Moorland, um, because they're like your affordable carpets um, and a budget range. Um, but as I say, all of them would be suitable for HMOs or uh, rentals, anything like that, or even for your own home. Um, if you wanted to then increase your budget and go for like a mid-range, you could just say looking at say something like Cambridge or um, Revolution, and that gives you quite a lot of choice in colours in the Revolution, so there's more choice. Um, again, um, their classification is 22, so again, perfect. And then if you wanted to take it up and you wanted a bit more of a luxury feel um, for a better quality carpet, and then you'd be looking at something like, say, Sacramento Elite um, or Oxford if you wanted something a bit more plusher. Um, do they all come in a category of, and Wayne, you're going to have to explain this, I know, 21, 22 or 23. So they come in all different. Yeah. yeah so could you explain they're that? All, yeah, they're, they're, they're all classified under each specification sheet that we produce under the uh, LMPG um, uh, brochure. It's probably just worth um, expanding on that, what Natalie said. Natalie's exactly right in terms of the different choices we have. So just purely on carpet alone, we have 22 different ranges that you could choose from, ranging from, I mean, initially your choice may be constrained around budget. So we go from extremes of as, as, as affordable as three pound a square meter up to 12 pound uh, maximum. Um, so, so we don't really go, you know, really, really top, 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 top heavy, but we go for a very good quality, uh, luxurious carpet at the £12 a square metre mark. So lots of ranges and selections within that 3 to 12 metre, £12 a square metre. Um, your type of carpet will be dictated by your traffic areas. So you may choose a different type of carpet if you've got hallways, uh, high, high, high traffic areas, uh, especially in HMOs. And you might even consider not even putting carpet down, but put, using carpet tiles or LVT as, a, as, a, as an alternative solution. It depends on the, the rental yields you're looking to, to command from it and how often you want to change the, uh, the, um, the, 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 the look and feel and the decor of the property. Um, all the carpets generally are made from either traditionally made from wool or nowadays it's made from polypropylene which is 100% synthetic material. Um, uh, the advantage of uh, more, more, the trend now is more towards polypropylene material, um, purely because it's, um, it's stain resistant, whereas wool is more prone to get stains. Wool is a bit more harder wearing, um, but generally polypropylene is good for high traffic areas. Nick, you mentioned at the very start about um, animals and things. Well, uh, the carpet as well, you know, there's, there's different types of pile, the actual uh, fibres themselves that are contained within the carpet. 
So you've got cut pile and you've got loop pile. Okay, so you can imagine the fiber looping in and out of the back in. That's generally quite hard wearing carpet, but not very good, not very pet friendly. As you can imagine, you know, if you've got cats or dogs clawing at the carpet, you've got a loop to pull up, it can look quite frayed very quickly and look by, you know, not, not look in a good state of repair. It won't affect the quality, it would just look, it would just look worn very quickly. Um, so it's better to go with a, a kind of a cut pile or a twist pile, straight pile um, that's sheared at the top, or a twist pile um, for if, you, if, you've got, if you've got animals as such. And then really what you're looking at is the density of fibers, how close, closely knitted together are the fibers in that, in that um, carpet. So the more denser carpet you have and the, and the pile length, so the denser, shorter piles you have, the more hard wearing it is. The higher pile you get, generally you get lots of, flat, you know, opportunity, you get more of a luxurious feel with that. So nice, you know, deep carpets as such, but generally, you know, they will flatten out, flat, flatten out over time and, and, and cause a bit of matting and generally look a bit worn as well. So you wouldn't necessarily put those in high traffic areas either. Um, so the loop pile, um, um, on a kind of polypropylene kind of carpet is, is generally uh, where we'd use some of the, the high traffic um, um, uh, solutions. Or alternatively, you go towards um, carpet tiles. Again, you know, could be a solution for, for your members, which are easily replaceable. So lift one tile up if one's damaged as opposed to the whole carpet. Um, or we use, we look at the, the, the you know, the, the LVT solution, so luxury vinyl tile, which is a lot more hard wearing and lasts a long, long time. You know, we give almost lifetime warranties on the, on the LVT in residential properties. And okay. um, commercial. Can, can I ask you a question? I just wanted, because he explained to me yesterday and I did not know this, I think members would really appreciate this, Wayne. You have 21, 22, and 23. Could you explain what them numbers mean? Yeah, so the domestic class 21 is just for light domestic use. Um, so again, you know, that kind of uh, carpet is, is suitable around a household, but you know, generally if it's only one or two people within the house, um, uh, you've got 22, which is moderate families, and 23, which is more classification for high traffic areas um, as such. And we have all them standards. We have 21, 22 and 23. In, in the residential and they're all, they're all depicted within the brochure itself. So you're able to determine that, get the samples from us, have a look at the quality, touch and feel. You've got the colour banks to choose from. Uh, we'll try and make it as simple as possible, really. Within okay. the budgets that, 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 that your members have, are looking to, to, to pay as well. Okay, sorry, Anthony, to interrupt you. Well, that's all right. You, you sort of answered my question, really, but I was just going to say, in this new brochure that we get, if it's bespoke to LMPG, what I want to see is everything you've mentioned there, Wayne, but very simply, just, you know, maybe colour-coded or some icons to say, this is hard-wearing, <laughs> this is good for HMOs, this is good for communal areas, this is affordable. Just so, at a glance, you don't need to sit down and watch this webinar or, or listen to all the technical stuff that you've mentioned. You can you can tell straight away. Uh, I've got a choice between this one, this one, this one, or this one. Um, okay, yeah, so I think there's a lot of room to to improve with. with there's a lot of questions come straight, so I just want to go down down this. Will you cut to length? Yes, Dartford. Yes, we will go. They will go to Dartford nationwide. I want to leave the fitting to a little bit later. Uh, that that length one, um, just just reclarify. So. They've asked, will, will they cut width as well as, as well as length? No. So, so you have two choices in width. Standard width is four and five meter. Um, so um, generally we'll, we'll, we'll try and keep the rolls to those lengths because of the machines that we've got cutting it. Correct, Natalie? Yeah, yeah, four and five, yeah. Okay. Okay. You've got and that's here. fairly standard, Nick. Sorry, that's fairly standard. No. No, no, I totally understand. One of the questions I've got here is, and this question is coming up a lot, Natalie. Okay. Is there anything which is viable with underfloor heating? 
Yeah, um, so the carpets, um, it will tell you if on the LMP due brochure, it tells you if the carpet's suitable for um, underfloor heating. So it's all listed on there. Um, LVT, uh, which is the luxury vinyl tiles, um, that's suitable for underfloor heating. Again, that's all we can find all the information in the brochure. Um, and luxury vinyl tiles, um, they're you know, perfect for that. Okay, great. The other question, Anthony, this is one to you. And this has come up before, so we need to, if this is our fault, we need to look at this. People have gone on to the, I've uh, got a member, um, Adrian, on our website at the moment. They've found the brochure, they're looking at it, but they can't link the brochure to the prices. Where are the yeah, prices? And it, I thought you might ask me this because it's quite, it's quite a common one with carpet and flooring in particular. Um, now, all prices, as with Wolseley, as with Magna, as with Johnston's, uh, on the LMPG website, are viewable by the green button in the top right-hand corner of the page, which says see prices. Now, there's also a prices section. I think this is where the issue is, just looking at uh, Adrian's explanation there, that that links down, but it doesn't link up and say, this is where you need to go. So I think what I'm going to have to do tomorrow is make it very obvious you know, screenshot of that, top right hand corner, that's where you need to go. But we, we recently updated this. And if you go to the top right hand corner, once you're logged in of carpet flooring or any other part on the page that we've got pricing for, that is where that is where the pricing is. Just click the green button that says see prices. Okay. And, and you're right, and Nick, it's completely, you know, it's, it's our fault for making it a little bit too confusing, I think. No, okay, that's great. And the new brochure, is the new brochure coming Wayne. Yes, yes. Sorry, Nick. It's um, it's you've got the existing version already on your website. Yeah. We've we've taken the opportunities to revamp the range to your members by adding in some extra products. So we've added in some new ranges of LVT. We've added in some new ranges of laminate. We've added in some new ranges of additional underlay, and we've added a whole section of accessories. And that's really important as well because, as I alluded to earlier when you look to price match or price compare our products versus online or, or retail you'll generally find that that the competition will be a bit like the milk and bread in the supermarket it's quite cheap to hook you in but when you buy everything else associated with it it's about the basket of goods so you'll find you know our gripper rods they're they're very very competitive versus the competition just do a quick you know straw poll in terms of uh, going into the, the website and just doing a google search you'll see that it's competitive. Uh, the same with the underlay um, and it's the same with um, things like film protector as well so once you've laid your carpet if you're not going to be in there for a few days you might want to you might just want to protect it as well so little incidentals we're trying to offer a whole solution at trade competitive prices to your members Good. And the other thing that I do want our members to understand and hope members watching this is that we want to improve that service. This is, I really want this carpet and flooring to work because I think it's a great asset to NMPG with the amount of carpets. It's got 40,000 different kind of floorings that we, we've got access to and you've got Natalie. So for the first time, we've got a central point, just like a Johnny. Yep. Yeah, just like the account managers in Magnet, like Leanne in Jusons. we've got them now lined up and kieran in uh johnston's paint so these are coming to the table and saying look we're here we we don't know if we've got it exactly right please let us know if there's something that's not working come and talk to us yep and we will go back to them and say look this is what's coming through there's a stumbling block let's get rid of that stumbling block to get the people to come to you we've got you as a partner let's yes you should and i see what other people are paying um so let's go back to some of the, the great questions we hear we noticed there's a link on the website for samples as are we able to order samples and how do we oh what's the lead time for samples um generally two to three days okay so it's quite quick turnaround they're free and we ask um no more than three samples to be uh, selected um so um 
So have a look at the brochures, have a look at the colour banks, um, make a selection and generally, you know, sort of within two to three days. It can be a bit longer at the moment because obviously we're just coming out of this pandemic. Um, so we've got lots of um, um, uh, inquiries built up over, over the course of the last few weeks as well, as demand is starting to come back into, into the UK. Um, so, uh, but we do have a dedicated person uh, responsible for um, producing those samples and sending them out to, to, to your members. Okay. The other question is, which is better good, better good quality laminate or good quality lino? Oh, oh. Oh, don't you answer that, Wayne. That one's to Natalie. She's not getting off lightly. <laughs> um, I think, you know what? Laminate and vinyl and today are amazing. So I think that's just going to be down to personal preference. Um, both of them are hard wearing. No, um, no, no. You're not getting off that bloody easy. <laughs> <laughs> it just depends what people want. It's do gonna fit it. it depends where you're gonna fit it, first of all, what kind of traffic's gonna go over it. So if you're gonna put it in a bathroom or a kitchen, then you can possibly look for the vinyl. Um because you know it's affordable. Um but laminate's affordable too, it looks amazing. So it really depends on your preference. Um if you're gonna fit it yourself, both of them are easy to fit. Um, so, you know, it offers many different options. So it just really yeah. depends where you're going to put it. Okay. Nick, sorry, yes. Nick, can I, can I just add to that as well? Just in terms of underlay. So just be careful, just so your members are aware. Uh, when, when we're talking LVT, luxury vinyl tiles, there's two types. There's a, a click system, which is, dare I say, more of a DIY product, a floating floor system. Yeah. And you've got a glue down system. Um, Obviously, with, 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 with underlay on a click system, don't go, don't go and make the mistake of, well, the thicker the underlay, the better, because actually too thick an underlay on LVT will mess up the joints, and the joints will become uneven. And when you walk across them, you may break the joints as such. So you're always looking for a thin underlay on LVT, and there is a specific LVT underlay that we sell with their product. With, okay. with carpet, I'd always go good quality. A good quality um, underlay will, will preserve the longevity of your carpet. Yes, I, I do know. Yes. Anthony, can you read some of these questions out? Because I'm getting the yeah, bit. Of course. Um, so there's quite a few on underfloor heating. What, what sort of products are best for under underfloor heating that you guys do? We do underfloor heating. Um, no, not the underfloor heating itself, but what, what's best to put over underfloor heating? What flooring would you put on? So you could use carpet, um, and, but you have to make sure that you use the relevant specific underlays. We have ones that are suitable for underfloor heating because they allow the heat to transfer through. Um, and then we just have to check on like the tog rating. Um, but the underfloor heating underlay um, is... is made specifically for that so you can use carpet if you wanted to use lvt which is the luxury vinyl tiles um they are suitable for um underfloor heating as well um so it really depends what kind of look you're looking for is that both the stick down and the click lvts yeah yeah both yeah generally generally you know from a heat transfer point of view you'd be looking at a wet system and a wet system, you generally bury into your screed anyway, and you bury and, and you bury the um, the underlay under the screed. So heat transfer wise, it's always better to go with a wet system, and I'm sure Walsley would agree with that. Uh, smaller areas like your bathroom, you might consider going with a bit of an electric um, underfloor system as well. Um, but that that's more designed for the smaller areas. Okay. I'm glad you mentioned Walsley because uh, I was going to say myself. Uh, underfloor heating is available for LMPG members through Walsley uh, at discounted prices. JG Speedfit, I believe it is. So uh, yeah. head over there if you and, want to get some stuff. Yeah, I've got another one here. If I put in like a hardwood flooring, for instance, there's a member asking here that I've ordered too much. What's the return policy? It's over to you, Wayne. <laughs> that means um, there isn't one. <laughs> no, 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 no. On open boxes, Nick, resaleable condition. Yeah. You want to run that one past me again so I understood? Sorry. Um, 
So resaleable condition means if the boxes are unopened, then yeah. then we will look to to, to refund. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, that's great. There'll be, re there'll be a restocking, small restocking charge, but as long as it's in resaleable condition, then yes. Okay. Anthony, um, I'm here reading the questions. I was just about to, mate. Hold on, hold your horses. Um, so, as I mentioned before, the price list was updated on Monday. Uh, we've got sort of underlaid door bars. Now, unfortunately, that is um, categorised alphabetically, and there's no real easy way for us to change that at the minute. So, the best way to do it would be to have the uh, prices on one screen or one half the screen and the, and the brochure on the other so you can compare the two. Um, there's quite a few questions on noise reducing flooring. So what would be the suggestions for those? So LVT, um, that has sound insulation. Um, so if, for instance, you were looking at one of our products, we do the Cars LVT. Um, on the Click one, uh, they have an acoustic backing already built in. So that could be an option. Um, so therefore you don't have any need for any extra underlay. Um, we also do have acoustic underlays um, if you wanted to have that under um, regular LVT or you can have it under carpets. Um, we have options for under laminate. So we've got quite a few covered on that. Um, can I just add into that, Natalie, as well? In terms of, um, I mean, the best sound insulation obviously is carpet um with underlay by far uh, so if you've got you know uh first second floor rooms then you know having laminates above you can be quite noisy uh, for the occupants below um so i wouldn't recommend having laminates above in those floors those those hmo properties as such uh, i would recommend lvt with a sound acoustic as nancy said sound acoustic underlay system so LVT uh, without the underlay is around nine decibels with, with the sound insulation that, that comes with it, uh, or you can buy alongside it. You can get up to 22 decibel sound rating. Uh, and to put that in context, carpet alone with underlays around 30, 35 decibels. Um, so you can see it's quite high in terms of um, sound absorption. Okay. Okay, lovely. Well, um, Anthony, you've got Sorry loads of questions. Of, Sorry? Got loads of questions. One from yeah, John. Yeah, I'm going to mention a bit of a negative one that I got through um, email yep. before. Uh, and the reason for this is just to manage expectations, really. So um, we've got a member that's having a bit of a problem with getting things in stock. What's stock availability like with you guys uh, with everything that's been going on? Um, like everybody, you know, we, we, we've all come through or start, still coming out the end of this, this pandemic. And um, um, we as a business remained open, which was, um, we, we never shut. Um, but a lot of our manufacturers, a lot of our suppliers, they, 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 they were closed. Um, and <coughs> are just slowly getting back to, to normality. And some are still not at 100% production rates. So whilst we've still got very good stocks, there are there may be instances where we may be out of stock of one or two lines um, while we work through the pandemic situation. Or actually, in some cases, we've, um, we've done very well because we've remained open. We've actually attained more business and um, the demand patterns um, have increased. So actually, we're, we're victims of our own success, I suppose, um, with some lines because... Um, you know, we're, we're selling more than we can get in. Um, so I also would say if there are instances where there are supply issues, we will uh, liaise with you and we will try to find you an alternative solution. Because we've got 40,000 products, there will be other solutions around um, different choices available um, within our business. So we will, wherever possible, try and find you an alternative solution as well or manage your expectations in terms of delivery. Okay, but just be straight, if it's going to be two weeks, tell the member. Don't tell them it's a week when you know it's going to be two yeah. weeks. That's the one thing that will really upset members, yeah? Okay. Um, and please, I'm not saying you've done that, but people try to only give good news, yeah? Please, you know, you, 
people hate telling me a date because if they miss the date, God help people. But what I'm saying is, if it's going to be two weeks, tell them it's two weeks. Yeah, because yeah? then in their head, it gets so they get so annoyed and frustrated that they think it's going to be a week, knowing that it's going to be another week. So yeah. thank you for that. And the other great thing is that well, not great thing, but it, Anthony John at seven twenty nine asked read a question. What does that mean? I didn't understand that. Uh, cushion vinyl has advantage of soft and warm underfoot. Great for bathrooms. Uh, no, 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 not that one, John. Looking on NPG again, he can't find. He said you've got to Google. Yeah, so I, I mentioned this earlier on. Um, oh, fine. Okay. The the brochure itself is categorised in one way, and the price list is categorised alphabetically, and it's it's a bit of a nightmare sorting the two out. Now that's something that we're going to have to look into and I'm not going to make any promises right now about we can get an immediate fix because it's a little more technical than I'm able to sort out myself. Um, but I just wanted to go back to something, Nick, because uh, the, we've had a lot of questions about fitters uh, and you said yeah. we'll cover that later. Now, can we can we get into that now before the, before the end of it? No, okay. One of the things that um, my understanding, Wayne, and, yeah, is a lot of people... You go into carpet, right? Yes. And I only learned this the other day. You walk in there, you think you're getting a, and I might be wrong in saying this, so t tell me if I'm talking rubbish, is that you get by the carpet. They will marry you up with a fitter that you think is carpet, right? But it's not. You get two different invoices because the two are two different business. All they're doing is passing the lead over to their fitting a fitter am i correct in saying that i believe so yeah yeah i believe that yeah. they, they they you have to pay separate so the material from the labor uh, and you pay the fitter separate from the material to carpet right okay if something goes wrong is it carpet right or the fitter that's responsible <laughs> you won't tell me the answer will you okay well, yeah. you can read into that <laughs> another politician okay <laughs> right now okay right now a lot of members are saying i like the carpet i like the price but oh i gotta find a fitter where the bloody hell do i find one of those fit comes along and says no i'll buy the carpet is there any way that you can help our members with fitters Natalie, do you want to cover this? Yeah, so um, we've got a list of fitters. Um, we don't recommend them because we've not actually seen their work. They're self-employed. They've dealt with us for years. We've spoken to them and asked them specifically if they're happy to do fit only because not everybody would do that. They'd like to supply it themselves. Um, and so we do have a list um, for um, each of the, the areas. So if you just let us know what area you're in, then we can um, we can give you some details of some fitters and we would like feedback on that as well so if you have a good experience then that always helps as well so we know to recommend that person again um, that would be really helpful please because um, at the moment you, you never seem to know whether you're giving those details out and if you know if they're happy with their work then I would rather use that person again so okay that, that, so they ring you Natalie they'll tell you the area buy the carpet from you and ask you for a fitter and if that one's busy and can't do it for a couple of months can they ring you back and get another couple of fitters yeah of course yeah definitely um so yeah so that's okay. not a problem at all and is that again across the country yes we've got them for each area so we've got like a board uh where we've got them already asked um and, and their details but sometimes you know if we've had somebody say that that fit is no longer trading or doing something else um we'll, we might have to just find out and then come back to you but we've got them already listed so just in case we didn't have one for one particular area then we will find out and we'll come back to you okay i uh, paul somebody's asked do you have a technical design department so you can virtually do a virtual design you don't do that do you no okay no. We, we, we don't offer that service today no. no okay i've just asked a question yeah the other question is members please help natalie because natalie's had a few phone calls um saying um i've got an average size front room living room there is no such thing as an average size they need measurements and <laughs> the other question is and i would do this natalie so i can't moan at the members 
what color would you recommend? That made <laughs> me laugh. I would I, love that. I would love to come to your house and have a look at your walls. <laughs> I love interior design. But I don't think Wayne's going to let me travel to the houses to, uh, to kind of coordinate. So you've really got to choose your own colours and you've yeah. really got to give the measurements. Yeah, to, yes, please. Uh, yeah, because she can't do a lot without that. Okay, she can actually help you on what quality carpet to buy. Okay, but she can't t pick your colour for you. So... I'm sorry, Natalie, but I will be probably doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picture, yes, I thought you might. I thought you might say that, but that <laughs> did make me laugh. An average size, yeah. And I, know, I can see Alex there. Yeah, I know it wasn't you, Alex. And he's looking there, touching his beard now. <laughs> but Nick, so, what, 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 what we can what we can say is what our best sellers are. So you know, we we're able to say you know what the market is buying in terms of what's on trend at the moment in colours. Yep, yep. But yep. don't please get involved in colours because you they'll say you recommended it and <laughs> yeah, it's not the right. I shade. don't like that colour. I don't like that colour because everybody's got different colour tastes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, any more questions, Anthony? From there's, well, there's, there's an absolute shed load, to be honest, Nick, and we're going to we're gonna have to send the, some of these across to carpet and flooring. But uh, I just noticed this one that's come in through Facebook now. How do, how do we measure stairs? Rooms are fairly easy, of course, but with stairs, how, how do you even measure that? Natalie? Yeah, me is going to say that. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I've never measured stairs myself. I'm not a fitter, but when I spoke to a fitter, what he said is on a, you would have to measure the long distance, the length of the landing on a regular staircase. Then you have to take into account the width of each step. He said for a normal standard staircase, which most people may have or may not, he said you'd normally be looking at like you'd need a piece four by four because you'd cut into it, but you have to make sure that the piles all running in the same direction. Otherwise it would look terrible if you turned the carpet on each other. So personally, if you can, and you've got a fitter that's gonna come and fit it for you, I would get them to measure it. And then that way you're covered. They'll work it all out with the least amount of waste. Um, but yeah, so you'd have to measure it the long way of the landing and then measure the width of each, the longest step, like the widest step that there is. Um, but as I say, four by four is what they're saying. Don't quote me on that. A member's, a member's put in here, it's the total rise plus the total we coming for the steps, plus the landing. Yeah. But that's, um, that's far too much maths for me. That's yeah, <laughs> and me. Don't do maths. I, 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 hello? You lost me at hello. <laughs> Can you see why I don't get involved in carpet? No, me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's going to be an awful lot of questions that we're not going to get to. They're just they're coming in on social media and they're coming on here as well. Can I put a list of this to you, Wayne? And, Please, yes. Yeah, and can we get all these answered that we haven't answered directly back to the member? Would you be prepared to do that? Yeah, absolutely. You, you know, wh wh wherever we can, we'll, we, you know, we welcome questions because it's, it's valuable feedback for us. Um, and as I said at the start, we're looking to improve the service we give to you and your members. And we can only do that by getting, you know, um, feedback. So even if it's on this, the situation of you, what Natalie mentioned there on, on, on the fitters experience, we want to know if you've got a good experience of a fitter that we've, we've um, put forward towards you. Obviously, yeah. down, to you, down to your members to do the due diligence work on them and make sure that they're comfortable with, the, with that fitter that they're going to use um, or even do it themselves. But ultimately, um, we want the feedback because we want to then be able to say, look, you know, we've had some good feedback from other members within the LMPG. Uh, and likewise, the ones that, that aren't so good, we won't, we won't be putting forward. They won't be on Natalie's board. Um, but, but just to reiterate, you know, all, all questions that, that you, you've sent to us, love to see those. We'll get back uh, and endeavour to get back to those as soon as we can. Um, you know, we're here to serve you and your members with, with the whole range of carpet and other flooring uh, types. So as I said, we've got artificial grass in there as well, which some of your members might not be aware of. Uh, some fantastic ranges in there. 
uh, on the laminate as well and cushion vinyl. Um, so if you're looking at, you know, either the kitchen or the bathroom, there's, the, there's alternative solutions other than carpet okay, that we can provide and assist you with. Um, and, um, you know, even if it's feedback on pricing, I'm happy to receive that, constructive or neg you know, negative, happy to receive that because what we want to do is make sure that we're offering, you know, you value for money. Wayne, don't say that. Even if the price is great, the member's going to write to you and say the price is a crap. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Some members actually do say very good. Very yeah, don't trust me. They're tight. <laughs> Landlords are tight. I'm tight. Yes. <laughs> if I can knock a few, another pound off a square metre, they'll do it. Trust me. But what I will say, Nick, in terms of, you know, what, what we aren't, and I said this at the start, we're not a high price, big discounts just to give an artificial uh, perception that we're cheap. We won't do many fantastic promotions with, with big discounts off the normal price because that, that just undermines what we're trying to give. What we can give to your members, and what I've, what I've not mentioned before, is exclusivity to remnants, so roll ends, discontinued. Oh, yes. Yeah. So if your members are looking to save money, we have um, a significant amount of remnants and roll ends and discontinued product within our warehouse capabilities that may just fit one of the rooms that your members are looking to fit and it will be at a significantly discounted price so saving all money and that will be you know we'll offer that to you as as, as um, an opportunity to to save more money okay so will you put them out when we do our special offers yeah will you have a list of your off cuts and we can put that on our monthly offers um yeah there's probably too many to put on your monthly offer so we may be selective so it may be a case of um because again it will depend on color type so each range of 22 ranges that we do will probably have a color bank of anything you know between eight and and 12 different colors and it may be a specific color we've got a particular um remnant or roll end on um but yeah, we've got we've got a list, and what I will be doing is uh, is soon giving that that to um, to uh, our national sales team. So when you make inquiries, that we're, we're offering it as standard, not just as exclusive offers as well. Okay. One of the questions I keep seeing is, can I uh, can I order samples online, or do they have to ring you, Natalie, or the sales team? No, you can order them online. So if you go on the LMPG website, there should be. Um somewhere on there that says that you can order the samples um, select three um, and then there's uh, the information on there or well, Nick, Nick go onto the car or, or alternatively go on the carpet and flooring.co.uk website um, where you'll see lots of good content on there as well as the opportunity to um, to click on on samples as well so take a look at that not wishing to to switch your members from LMPG to, to our web no, we've got no problem with that there's lots of great content on there. We've got demonstration videos on. So if your members are fancying having a go at fitting LVT, you know, we've got demonstration videos of how to fit that as well. We've got product specifications if they need to compare us against what they perceive to be a cheaper product elsewhere. Then we've got all that specification information. That's not a problem. We put on the videos. We can put links in, can't we, from our website. Just click the link and it will send it to the, the, the video, as it were. That would be really, really good yeah that will be and i don't know the question i don't know this answer just one of the last coming up to last questions is what do you, so we've got a ballpark figure what do fitness charge per square meter what do they charge <laughs> no idea why <laughs> <a> clue <laughs> well I, I i don't know but i mean i've I, I did a bit of research just before this and um and, and i did a few with unnamed retailers shall we say uh, and it ranged from you know, sort of six to twelve pound a square meter. What fitted? Yeah, six to twelve pound on some of those. And that's not including the carpet. No, he says not that was just fit only. We're in the wrong business. Wrong be yeah. I need to point some. That's more than a fitting plumber earns. I thought they were stealing from me. Like I say, I, you know, pounds, between six and twelve pounds a square meter. On some, on some. I mean, I'm I'm sure there'll be others out there that can do it a lot more. Don't it come in like job lot? 
like see a three bedroom house they're going around and go this is going to cost you 500 pound or, or 600 pound they do it on square meters now yeah but as i say just just to manage your expectate your members expectations nick you know we are a a distribution business we're not a supply and fit business no i know you're nervous of that and i yeah, yeah they got the message yeah you're, you're so uh distributors yeah i totally yeah. get that and you're just helping out by making a few recommendations to our members I yeah understand. so I've, I've just seen a question from one of your members who paid five pound fifty a square meter oh okay so yeah all oh, right i'm surprised that i know him i'm surprised he paid that <laughs> he, is tight. he is tight as they come he never paid five pound fifty a square meter. yeah and if anybody's asking me yes <laughs> i was waiting for you to turn up bro. <laughs> you never paid five pound fifty i got stung i got stung <laughs> oh dear me i'm surprised you didn't run him over paul <laughs> well, i won't be using them again <laughs> Pound square me are you paying that i don't believe it oh and this is paul hilliard by the way hi, hi. okay hi, um, have you met paul natalie no he's our operations director hi okay just thought okay. he'd come in at the last minute he likes chirping at the background as it were Anthony, we've got any other questions because there's freaking loads of them. Yeah, as I said before, we've got we've got hundreds of them, to be honest, and I've I've had a few emails as well. So I don't think it's really the right time to go through each and every single one at the minute. You know, there's obviously a lot to digest from from what we've seen already. Uh, but Mark, we do Edinburgh. They do fit in Edinburgh. They've got fitters up in Edinburgh for you. I just saw it. Sorry. Sorry. Go on, come on. I was finished. Oh, we yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. What time is it? God, 10 to 8. We've been on over an hour. We've got to stop. Okay. Members, um, this is our last one yet yeah, for, um, not this year, but for, how do I put it? We're not doing any more until September. That's an We're easy taking a break, yeah. So this is, as it was, season one of uh, the Expert Lock-In. And it's evolved quite a lot since, you know, initially we thought we'd have a couple of suppliers on. Uh, we'll talk about the coronavirus and uh, see how everyone's been getting on, see what we've got on the other side. And, you know, the engagement we've had from suppliers and from members, it's been fantastic. So, yeah, we need, we need a little bit of time out to work on the stuff that we said we'd be doing on each of these yeah. uh, to line up a couple of more people because we've got them banging down our door, really. But, yeah, we'll, we're taking August off, really. Um, and be back at early September. I was going on my second holiday. I can't go now. Anyway, <laughs> I can. What well, I can tell you, the next one that's going to, um, it, we've got one on the second, the ninth, and the sixteenth. They're the dates. Put them in your diary. And I'm trying to get, not trying. Jill's going to come back to me and let me know which date she can do. But we're going to actually try to do a design actually do a full-blown design kitchen how to design a kitchen which i'm really quite excited about and she's going to take a room that i'm going to give her and she's going to help design and what you need to look for when you're designing a kitchen things that maybe people uh, are not aware of where your stock cock is where your gas is etc 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 so she's going to actually do a full-blown design and that'll take probably half an hour and then we can go into some questions um and i don't know which date that's going to be yet she's going to come back to me but we'll put a full uh for september out um of which ones we're going to be doing but i was going to say to everybody if you're going on holiday have a great holiday be safe but I don't think we'll be going on holiday, a lot of people, because um, I don't think they're going to want to come back to a two-week uh, two quarantine period. So um, wherever you are, it's been a real pleasure to, to do these webinars for the last, is it nine, Anthony? Ten weeks. Ten weeks. Um, all I would say is you be safe, and we all look forward to seeing you all back here in September. And have a great summer holiday, whatever you're doing. Paul, would you like to say anything on behalf of LMPG? I know I do that every time, do you? 
and you wait you know, uh, but yeah I, I think it's uh, really brave of uh, our suppliers to come and do this for us and uh, again thank you to wayne and uh, natalie for coming on tonight it's yeah. uh, thank you for having us hopefully it will reduce the workload or the crews you get and uh, it's always very useful we all learn so uh, thank you very much yeah and it's no, been a real you. pleasure and lisa yeah lovely i haven't seen you but you're on my facebook live because i know you're there and you've watched it and i hope you should be very pleased with these two because they've done a great job and if everybody's saying who's lisa it's their big boss and ceo <laughs> <laughs> Don't I do that, it, <laughs> but no everybody have a great summer and i look forward to seeing yeah. everybody when they come back thank you everybody. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Bye -bye. Bye. Bye.